Aircraft carriers are sailing near China. It's one of the world's most powerful fleets, carrying hundreds of long-range missiles. It boasts more firepower than most countries reserve in their entire naval force. And he's Don Ma has more. The U.S. and the U.K. have assembled one of the world's most powerful naval formations near China in the waters surrounding Okinawa, Japan. It's among the most formidable group of ships to sail together in years. And it's not a coincidence that it appeared near China's coast. Recently, Beijing has been increasing its military assertiveness in the region, mainly towards Taiwan. The joint U.S.-U.K. move indicates a potential warning to China's Communist Party, or CCP, that upsetting the status quo in the region could be matched with a powerful response. For China, this is a warning sign. It's undeniable that the U.S. military deployment and military strength in the Indo-Pacific region cannot be underestimated. The naval formation is composed of three aircraft carriers. That's the USS America, the HMS Queen Elizabeth, and the nuclear-powered USS Carl Vinson. A former Chinese Communist Party military personnel tells NTD that in a military confrontation, China is no match for America's power. Why does the United States place such a large force on the Western Pacific and at the doorstep of the CCP? I think it is a strategic deterrence. It's to tell the CCP to settle down. In an actual confrontation, this force is terrifying and very powerful. I think the CCP couldn't defend against it. The Naval Assembly is part of the two countries' maritime deployment operations. Those operations also include training exercises. And on each carrier are dozens of advanced fighter jets. In total, they carry nearly 80 combined aircrafts. These carriers are accompanied by Dutch and British support escorts. These carriers are also sporting several submarines and hundreds of long-range missiles. Together, these carriers and escorts possess more firepower than most countries have in their entire naval fleets. By comparison, China currently